Hello teachers welcome to online spoken english class as we have already become familiar with the sentences and nouns in the previous sessions so today we will discuss one of the most important parts of english language a verb and its role in sentence look at this sentence and guess what is happening with rajat and football or is there any connectivity between both the nouns no we don't have an idea about what happens with rajat and football and also what about the connectivity between both the nouns so to make our doubts clear we feel a need to add a verb in this sentence like this rajat plays football rajat plays football now we can see that after adding a verb the sentence makes a complete meaning as we get to know about playing football by rajat now we can say that verb is one of the most important parts of speech without verb a sentence cannot exist teachers look at these pictures and answer to the questions according to the functions shown in the pictures what do the birds do in the first picture yes the birds fly what does the boy do in the next picture right the boy runs what does the girl do in the last picture correct the girl sings now tell me what are the verbs that show actions absolutely right the words fly run and sing are the verbs which are showing action therefore we can say that verb shows action of the subject now let's have a look at these sentences too and repeat after me himadas is an athlete harish was once a hawker kamal will come tomorrow now answer to the questions on the basis of these sentences what are the verbs which are used in these sentences yes in these sentences is was and will are the verbs the next question what is the function of these verbs in the sentences oh you don't know 
I will tell you. In these sentences, these verbs tell about the state of subject. As in the first sentence, the verb is tells about the present state of Hima Das. In the next sentence, the verb was tells about the past state of Harish. And similarly, in the last sentence, the verb will tells about the future state of Kamal. Therefore, we can clarify again that a verb shows an action or a state of being. Here, we have learnt about the verb and its functions. We will further go with the kinds of verb in the next module. Thank you.